Ultra processed foods make up over 70% of the US food supply, but are they all bad? And what do they really do to our health? Researchers at the National Institutes of Health are trying to find out by isolating volunteers in a government hospital for a month at a time and monitoring everything they do. We take complete control over people's food environments and we can measure exactly what they eat. Today, my lunch was chicken nuggets, which is kind of like a treat. Each week is a different, carefully designed diet. In between meals, they're measuring everything from hormone levels to calories burned. We have these links that are saying that diets high in ultra-processed foods are at least associated with a variety of poor health outcomes. What we don't know is what is the mechanism underlying those links. Hall's study looks specifically at obesity. Their findings are expected later this year, but preliminary results point to two main culprits how energy dense something is, and whether it contains certain combinations of nutrients that make you eat more. One study is not gonna answer all the questions that we need to answer. We need a lot more research in this area to address not just the obesity question, but the variety of other conditions that diets high in ultra-processed foods are linked with.